Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, today we're going to talk about Atom Smashers and Cyclones abilities, and also the rest of the stuff that's going to come in July. So, I already saw a little bit of Cyclones and Atom Smashers abilities, and dude, Cyclone seems insane. And she is the login hero as well. So, let's just take a look. So, the basic, it does two blasts of 50 and 160 damage, and then apply five intelligence down on a single target. And the legendary void is five speed downs. Guys, do you know how crazy this is gonna be with Captain Cold? Like, five speed downs from a basic, you can retaliate with Captain Cold, and five int downs. That's insane for like, Black Flash, Dark Side, all those intelligence characters like Spectre, obviously. Dude, this is such a great basic. And then the, the two, you apply damage immunity for two turns on a single ally and purge five buffs. And the legendary point gains gain five speed ups. So I believe, uh, I'm not sure if uh, Cyclone gets the five speed ups or the ally. Maybe it's the ally from what it seems like. Because you're talking about the ally and then it says gain five speed ups lasting for two turns actually which is nice so yeah if you want to protect an, uh, an ally you just purge five buffs and uh, two time or two turn d death immunity or damage immunity better which is really good and then the three two blasts of 50 and 200 damage to all enemies and then 10 percent extra damage per speed down on enemy team and apply three speed downs on all allies. So if you if you have like ten speed downs on the team, which is so easy. Like even if you only have her on the team, you just do your basic twice, and that's it. You got ten speed downs. You got hundred percent more extra damage. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna hit really hard, and it's gonna be so easy with Red Tornado or Captain Cold to get these speed downs, the ten speed downs, super easy. And then, uh. We got the first passive, apply 6 int downs on a random enemy at the end of Cyclone's turn. So, and then also 25% chance to enrage the target. This literature report is pretty bad because it's enraged and it's only 25, it's very very low. But the int downs, I like the amount of speed down or of int downs. The thing is it's on a random enemy. You could get lucky sometimes and put them on Spectre or something, but 6 int downs is quite a bit. With those five intelligence downs from basic, you can just literally uh, make them do like zero damage on you. And then 70% chance to purge two debuffs from the round of ally and apply 60 damage to the attacker when Cyclone is attacked. So basically a retaliation. So you get a 70% chance to purge two buffs from a random ally or on a random ally, which is nice. And then you deal 60 damage to the attacker when Cyclone is attacked. And also, you stun the attacker. So that's crazy. That's really, really good. Like, those retaliation teams are going to come in handy. We're going to have that crazy uh, basic within down speed downs. And then if she gets uh, hit, we're going to stun the attacker as well. Which is insane, man. Like, I, I think I'm definitely going to get her to l4 100 percent i don't really care about the enrage here the l5 it's pretty bad but maybe honestly i farm her from like to legendary 5 and then maybe next month i'm gonna get her from pvp and just rebirth her because i feel like i'm gonna uh, use her quite a bit and her speed is actually nice too so the speed is 123 it's very very high up it's like top 15 or something super super fast and the health is it's pretty low, yeah. <laughs> it seems like the characters that I really enjoy I have like low health. <laughs> but yeah, 31,000 close to 32 is pretty, pretty low. And the crit chance is not that crazy now that I see it. But she's got insane utility, man. She's not gonna be like too much of the damage dealer unless this hits very hard with 10 or with 100% extra damage, which I feel like should be. But yeah, this is going to be the free character of the month. And now let's talk about Atom Smasher. So this guy has a very weird abilities. So he's basically does apply five agility downs for three turns, and he purges two buffs from the enemy. So the purge is always nice, you know. But 
I don't know, like agility downs. They reduce uh, defense, but I don't know. I don't think this is like a strong debuff. And then on the second, you gain six empowered stamina ups. That's crazy. That's like 12 stamina ups. You can increase your health by a ton. And then this is the weird part. Apply hit chance down to all teammates. So that's literally bad for you. And then four hit chance down to all enemies. This is good. Four hit chance downs are really high for the enemy team. That's pretty good. And then the legendary boy, you gain five affinity resist ups. Mm, don't really like that. That's what Supergirl has, which only works for like the the uh, affinity that's has a disadvantage on you. On you, because like he's going to be a red, so that means uh, blues aren't gonna do anything to him if he's got affinity resist ups. And then this is a good ability, I feel like. So heavy damage to all enemies. Apply fifty percent to down. And two heat just downs on every single enemy. 50% meter is really good. And then if enemies already have heat chance down, five turns are added to their duration. So let's say you have an ally that applies heat chance downs on everyone. If you use this AoE while they have that, the heat chance downs are going to have five turns added to that. So if they would expire on the next turn, they're not. Because you're going to add 5 turns into that. And 5 turns is a lot. Like, they're probably going to last for the whole fight. Because 5 turns is a lot, man. And the Hitchens Towns are actually a pretty strong debuff. If you cannot purge it, it's pretty rough. Or you have a can't miss move. It's pretty rough. And then Legendary Point. Deal 10% true damage. And plus 10% if enemy has, has Hitchens Town. So you're going to do like 20% true damage, which is not bad. It's uh, really effective. So yeah, let's, let's go for his, his first passive. At the start of the battle, gain a, a permanent empowered strength up and stamina up. Not bad. Legendary point is only one though. Legendary point uh, at the start of his turn. If Adam Smasher had five empowered strength ups uh, and stamina ups. And you can get that from your two. Um... He suffers 10% true damage. So he's literally damaging himself. But he gains a permanent and power strength ups and stamina up. So this guy is going to be much better in like uh, longer fights. Because he gets those permanent and power strength ups and stamina ups. Because like in slightly like... In not longer fights, he's not going to be that great. Because he's going to lose health. And he's not going to have too much, right? Because you need to build up those stamina ups to get more health so that the 10% true damage from what you suffer is not that, that bad so yeah let's go let's talk about his second passive when a teammate is hit use the basic uh ignoring awareness that's pretty good and then if the teammate has hit chance down apply intelligence and agility down on the attacker again that's only one and the legendary point 75 percent chance to gain permanent empowered stamina up and to apply 20% terminator down on a random enemy after counter attack. So this ability can work pretty good uh, with Captain Gold too. Because like he basically counter attacks. So retaliation. So yeah man, I, I feel like... What's his health boost? Oh, his health boost is like, okay. That's 41k. That's that's not bad. So he's going to have 41k health. He's going to gain those Empower Strength Ups. Like, the only bad thing about his kit is like... I don't really like the affinity resist ups. The agility downs can help. Like sometimes Riddler applies those. And they are pretty effective. Um, so I don't like the affinity resist ups. And then also I don't like that he suffers damage. Um, from his own ability. But in longer fights like I said. You build up those empowered stamina ups. Uh, and strength ups. Uh, and then you have two passives that, do, that allow you to do that. Like the second passive only says a permanent empowered stamina up, but you keep building up those strength ups um, every turn at the start of your turn, which is guaranteed. So, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I definitely, dude, um, Cyclone is definitely the better one, 100%. But this guy is pretty interesting too. Like, I want to see some combos. So, his speed, oh, he's not that fast. Ooh, wow, that's very slow. 101, eh? That is pretty slow. But he's got a ton of health and not too great crit chance. 
Okay, so let's talk about. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video about uh, Sajam because I have him legendary five, and dude, he is good, guys. He's very very good. So stay tuned to that, for that video. I'm gonna literally upload today. Very excited about this because he he's actually really good now. And then the PvP completion bonus is gonna be Blizz. Mm. Not really a fan of Blizz. Like she can definitely work with a double uh, or the two turn death immunity and taunt at the start. This is a good way of like making the opponent hint her. But I don't know, I don't really like her too much. I feel like she's very squishy. And the Wraith tournament, Freddy, Shazam, Peacemaker, Shazam, and then Granny Goodness. I'm gonna grind uh, Granny a lot. Probably get her to L3 or L4. Because I have her like several or uh, level 65, I believe. So yeah, she's pretty she's pretty decent. And then with the showdown, it's gonna be rewarding Mary Sajam, and then we're gonna get from the board clear King Sajam. Interesting. So yeah. Blaze tournaments, uh, mystical and female, and the siege bonus is going to be Adam, Cy uh, Cyclone, Sajam, and Freddy. And then so I have Sajam from those. Hapolita, I don't have her. Superwoman, I have her. Two-Face I don't, and Mr. Freeze, huh, that's very interesting, so I'm gonna have three bonus things again, but I feel like the, the Siege, the Siege character is not that great, honestly, like, I don't think I'm going to take up, uh, Adam Smasher, I wanna get him, like, L3, for, like, the future, but I don't know, I don't feel like I'm going to, uh, use my XP on that, cause I'm, don't have too much, and then for the 10-day event, it's gonna be, uh, Cyclone, and then, I saw this, the 6th day event is Etrigan. That's pretty exciting news. Might get him to Rebirth 1, honestly. Uh, and then we're gonna have Swamp Thing. Kind of like uh, the John Constantine event we have now. Like, free fragments. Definitely gonna take that. Swamp Thing had a stat boost as well. So, I, I believe a lot of people are gonna like that. And then the raid uh, started actually yesterday. So, this is gonna be the Aquaman skin. That's pretty sick, honestly. You can get it from the shop or if you finish top 100 from 500 on the raid, which is pretty cool. And then this is going to be to be the Ares skin. That's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. I want to see if some people use Ares uh, as their, their leader when they uh, get the skin. And then I, I think they said, yeah, the stat boost. Wonder Woman, Princess of Themyscira. She needed that. Batman Beyond, I believe he needed that as well. Reverse Flash, very, very exciting. Uh, and Silver Banshee. I believe all four of them needed that, so I'll take it. And then they said to, they said something. Just added board clear for showdown is King Sajam the infected. Okay, I think we read that. So yeah, we got like four stat boosts. We got two reworks. I don't know if Freddy's uh, rework is great, haven't read it. But Sajam is it's it's very good, guys. It's like you can see in the video. He's he's such a beast. But yeah, man, pretty excited. About everything that's coming in July. Uh, Cyclone is going to be probably my main team with Captain Cold. Dude, every single uh, character they release is like great with Captain Cold. And I love it. I love it. I just rebirth Mongol, which works with uh, Captain Cold. So yeah, can't wait to, to get Cyclone as well. I'm pretty happy that's uh, the daily login hero. So yeah guys, let me know about your thoughts uh, about Cyclone and Adam Smasher. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.